Welcome to the Durban Christian Center South Message. We believe that the message you are about to hear shall change you, realign your focus, and help build your relationship with our Lord Jesus. With you, we agree that faith comes by hearing the Word of God. Here is Dr. Johnny Krobler with the Word from God just for you. So I want to just speak to you this morning about God, faithful and true. Can you say it with me? Faithful and true. Hallelujah. God is faithful and true. In Philippians 1 verse 6, Paul says these words, I am convinced and sure of this very thing, that he who began a good work in you will continue until the day of Jesus Christ, right up to the time of his return, Developing that good work and perfecting and bringing it to full completion in you. God's saying to you today, he is committed to you. He is faithful to you. And he will not lift his hand and he will not relent and he will not change his mind concerning you. Because when God saved you, he had a dream, he had a vision, and that's what he created you for. God came and found uh, da uh, David, who was a little shepherd boy, and anointed him as a king. God sees something in you, that which he created you, according to his eternal purpose. Hallelujah. And I want you to know today, no matter what you are facing, God is faithful and God is true. When Joshua stood before the promised land, think of the task that awaited him. This young man who had just taken over from Moses. And here before him was Jericho. Here before him was a great uh, fight that he had to fight. God did not leave him alone. But the Bible says, as he prepared, there stood a man. And he looked and he had his sword drawn. And when he came to him, he said uh, in Joshua 5 verse 13, it came to pass when Joshua was by Jericho, that he lifted his eyes and looked and behold, a man stood opposite him with a sword drawn in his hand. And Joshua went to him and said to him, are you for us or for our adversaries? And so he said, no, but as commander of the army of the Lord, I have now come. And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and worshipped and said to him, What does my Lord say to his servant? At the moment when you fight a big battle, he is there with you as the captain of the Lord of hosts, as the God who fights your battles for you. I remind you this morning that the battle is not yours. The battle is the Lord's. And when you come to an impossible situation, look up. Because God is with you, hallelujah, and he's with you as a mighty man of war. He's come to fight for you, hallelujah. When things get difficult, God is with you. When you don't know what to do, just keep walking. When it seems like there's only water, walk on the water. When it seems like you don't know what else to do next, trust God. But never turn back. Never look back. Never talk defeat. Never give up. Because God will never give up on you. Somebody say hallelujah. He is with you as a mighty man of war. I'm reminded of the two disciples on the road to Emmaus. And the Bible says they were walking and they were sad and they didn't know what to do next. They were at, at, at odds because they didn't know what to do. Jesus had died. They thought he's going to be their, he's going to be their political king. And Yeri had died and they were hopeless. They were despair and they were walking and suddenly Jesus joins them. And Jesus preaches the first sermon he did after his resurrection. The Bible says they're walking and Jesus turns to them and he says, Oh, you slow to believe. I want to read that for you. He says, Oh, you slow to believe and hard of heart. And then the Bible says, And beginning at, the, at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded to them in all the scriptures things concerning himself. Oh, how I would love to listen to that sermon. Perhaps he started in the book of Exodus and showed himself as Jesus, the deliverer. Hallelujah. Perhaps he, he moved on 
And then he started showing himself in the, in the other books. In Exodus, he is the seed of the woman that crushes Satan's head. Hallelujah. Sorry, that's in Genesis. Why am I moving on to Exodus? In Exodus, he's a deliverer like Moses. In Leviticus, he's the lawgiver. Hallelujah. In every book, he starts revealing himself to them and revealing Jesus to them. And so much so that he starts showing his name because he's the God of faithfulness. From the beginning of creation, he's been revealing himself, making himself known. And then after he's finished with them, the Bible says in verse 30, it came to pass as he sat at the table with them that he took bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to them. And then their eyes were opened and they knew him, and then they said, did not our hearts burn within us as he spoke to us on the way? Hallelujah. The revelation of Jesus is all you and I need. Glory to God. And I went and I, I looked at the revelation of Jesus throughout the books, and I said, my God, how great you are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he comes to the, to the end, he comes to the book of Jude, and he shows us the, the returning king coming with tens of thousands. And he shows us in the book of Revelation, the king of kings and the Lord of lords, hallelujah. Because he's coming again, saints, but until then he is with you. You and I have a job to do. And he is faithful to us. Somebody say he's faithful. He is Emmanuel. God is saying to you today, you are precious to him. He started a good work in you, and he's going to finish that good work. Isaiah 43 verse 4, since you are precious in my sight, you have been honored, and I've loved you. Therefore, I will give men for you and people for your life. Hallelujah. Saints, when this walk that we walk is not a walk in the park. When you get saved, you don't get wrapped in, in cotton wool and sprinkled eau de cologne and a big sign put on you, oh, only thing's going to go well. From the moment you got saved, you got a position, but you got God with you. No matter how big your trouble is, your God is bigger. No matter how hard, how hard the situation, the miracle worker is present. Hallelujah. I'm, remember, I'm reminded of Samson. The Bible says when the times got tough, the people, his own people that Samson was fighting for came to the cave and they, and they said to him, we're going to deliver you to the Philistines. Instead of standing with him, have you ever had when people that you're fighting for stab you in the back? Huh? And here's Samson and he's fighting for his nation and he's standing and he's making trouble. And they come to him, they say, no, Samson, you're making too much trouble for us. Let us bind you. And his own people bind him with new ropes. New ropes. What does that mean? Ropes he's never been tied with. Things that he's never faced before. They tied him with these ropes. And they bound him. And they bring him to the Philistines. But even though his own people turned their backs on him, God was still with him. God was still faithful. God was still true. The anointing was still on him. The Bible says he, he, he's, he ripped those ropes like flax off his wrists. Hallelujah. He looked around and there was a jawbone of a donkey. He grabbed the jawbone of a donkey and he slew a thousand men. God is saying to you today, no matter how hard it's been, no matter where you come to, you will slay heaps upon heaps your enemies will lie at your feet and God will receive the glory because the victory is yours somebody say hallelujah God said to Joshua be strong be courageous be bold for God is with you God is saying to you today Durban Christian Center Bluff Durban Christian Center South God is with you God is for you. God is faithful and God is true. And he will never turn his back on what he started in you. Come on, can you lift your hands and say, Lord, thank you for completing what you started in me. Do not, do not, 
let your dream go. Do not downscale, but believe God. Come on, when it seems impossible, believe that impossible is possible with a mighty God, a God-sized God. And God says, I will deliver you. I will break through on you. My, my host is with you. The captain of the Lord of hosts stands ready. And I bless you today. Come on, lift your hands. Father, I release the strength. I release the anointing. I release the power of your spirit and your saints. I thank you that by your spirit we overcome because you are faithful. You brought us this far and you'll bring us out and you'll bring us through and you'll cause each saint to stand in victory. I bless them in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Can somebody say, I'm going through. God is with you, mighty man of war. He stands at your side today. And this week, the anointing of God will break every yoke and destroy every bondage. Father, we thank you. We will not look back. We will not downscale our dreams. We will not let go of that which you have grabbed a hold of us for. And I thank for your blessing on us. Your blessing on this church. We will see thousands upon thousands come to the knowledge of Christ. We will see 12 churches in the South District. We will see your saints raised up. Father, millionaires in the house of God. 300 millionaires. 300 businessmen. Father, the spirit of 300 that is on this house. And I bless the servants of God. I bless each one in the name of Jesus. Let courage, let strength enter their hearts today. I bless you watching over live stream and YouTube today. The hand of God is on you. He is with you as a man of war in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said hallelujah. How was that? How, 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 how fast did I preach? Amen. Hallelujah. Now just every eye closed, every head bowed. Friend, there's, a, there's an enemy to every soul. Satan is at work in this world to bind with sin and to destroy lives. Jesus said, the devil comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I have come that you might have life. He came as a mighty conqueror. He came as the one who took your sins away on that cross. And he broke the power of sin from you. So that if you will turn to him, you will not be lost, but saved. Today you're in this place. You say, Pastor Johnny, my life's not right with God. Can you pray for me? I want Jesus to be Lord of my life. He will destroy the works of darkness. He will break the power of sin from you. And He will set you free today. You're watching my YouTube or live stream today. Wherever you are in this place, you're on my side. If you say, Pastor Johnny, I want to make right with God. Pray for me. Here I am, Jesus. I give you my life. If that's you, lift your hand and say, here I am, Jesus. I give you my life. Those of you out there, just put your hand out the car so I can see. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Those of you at home, thank you. I see those hands. At home, if you are there and you say, Jesus, I give you my life. I give you my heart today. Lift that hand of yours. Father, I bless these lives. I want you to pray with me. Lord Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God. I believe you took my sin on that cross and you shed your blood and you died in my place. And I believe that after four days, you rose again. Today, Jesus, I confess you as my Lord and Savior. I receive your forgiveness. By faith, I receive your blood to wash my sins away. And from this day, I belong to you. Thank you, Jesus, for hearing my prayer. Amen. Now, Father, I bless these lives. I release your anointing on them. I break the yoke against them. And I thank you, Lord, for hearing their prayer and touching their lives in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, somebody say, God is faithful. God is faithful and God is true. Hallelujah. Okay, if, if you've, if you've uh, prepared a building fund, you'd like to give a physical building fund, please, if you can just come through to our, uh, over here, we'll receive that as well. I've got one more thing to say. Sunday was great, but Monday is 
better. God bless you as you go. We trust that you were blessed by this podcast and that you are inspired to be more like Jesus. If you seek Him, you shall surely find Him. If you have been touched by this message and feel led to sow into our ministry, please go to our website www.durbanchristiancenter.co.za or find our banking details in the description below. We encourage you to follow us on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube so you can have up-to-date information on all our church activities. Please feel free to drop us your contact details. We'd love to connect with you.